Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to install Forge on Minecraft. Minecraft is a pretty fun game, y'all have to agree. It may look weird, but it is fun. And who doesn't want to play a game without having mods or hacks or whatever? It just gets bored after a while. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to install Forge for Minecraft. This is probably one of the easiest ways to get your favorite mods and every anything else you want on there. So. Go ahead and go to the link that I have in the description below, files.minecraft.forge.net, and go ahead and download the latest version of Forge for your version of Minecraft. I'm, and let's go ahead and stick with the installer because it takes about three seconds. So go ahead and click install. Stay on the page. And all you have to do is wait five seconds. Once you wait that five seconds, a little button will pop up here. Go ahead and click that and skip that. It's pretty easy. It goes pretty fast. Just go ahead and let that download for you. And once it's done downloading, drag it to your desktop and then we'll continue from there. Go ahead and close this out once you're done installing or downloading Minecraft Forge. And if it doesn't have this little Java sign on there, that means you have to open it up with Java platform SC binary. If you don't have that, um, I will put a link in the description for, below for you guys so you will be able to run this. All you have to do for that is download and install that and it's pretty easy. So as after you do that, just right click and open it up in Java platform. And once you open it up in that, it'll open up the Minecraft Forge installer. Once it opens up, just go ahead and click on install client, none of the other stuff, install servers or whatever. Go ahead and click OK, and then it'll pop up successfully installed client profile forge for version. And just push OK for that because we don't really need to read all that. Once you have it installed, go ahead and check to make sure it went in all the, all the way, and go to your start button, type in percent, app, data, percent, click on that little folder called room. At the top, you should see .minecraft, double click that, and you'll have all these in here for you. And there you go, the newer version of Forge. I actually had an older version, so I decided to update it by making a video. And then you'll have a folder in here, or if you don't, go ahead and create a folder and name it mods. Once you have a mod, which I'll be showing you how to get here, go ahead and follow the second or the third link in the description down there for you guys, which will lead you straight to this mod. This is Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod. Thank you, Mr. Crayfish, because this mod is awesome. Go ahead and wait another five seconds on AdFly. AdFly is probably the best one. Takes you right to it and installs it and downloads it for you right away. Go ahead and close out the media fire link. Wait for the Mr. Crayfish Furniture mod to download and then drag it onto your desktop. Once you have it on your desktop, go ahead and drag the Mr. Crayfish mod into the mods folder. Once you have it in your mods folder, just go ahead and go back. What I like to do is um, create a shortcut for the dot minecraft and then drag it to your desktop because who wants to go in every single time and type out some dumb app data percent in your starboard? Nobody does. Nobody likes to take a long time on things. So if next time you want to install a mod, it'll be quicker and easier. So go ahead and start up Minecraft. I have mine in a special folder on my desktop with all my mods and everything else I have got. And I like to run mine as administrator so I don't have to go through all the other junk. And once you have the forge installed, it will bring you to a new default screen. Go ahead and log into your account and create a new profile. This new profile will help uh, run the forge mods. Name the new profile forge and make sure it is when you you want to use a version 1.6.2 forge. Make sure it says forge on there or this will not work for you guys. 
Um, that's all you need to do here in that forge. I'm gonna name mine too because I already have one forge. Go ahead and name it. And then, if it doesn't select it for you, go ahead and select the forge profile you guys just made and start it up. Hopefully this doesn't crash on you guys. If it does, just ask me a couple questions and I will try to help you guys out. So, when you have uh, Forge installed, it will have a couple of items down here telling you guys that you guys have the mod installed. Go down here and you can see all the mods that are installed down here to help your mod and Forge run the correct way. And as you can see, we already have one mod in here called Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod. Again, thank you to Mr. Crayfish because these are awesome. And go ahead and go up at the top. You'll have these little arrows here. And then you just click those and over here we'll have all the mods. It has bedside cabinets, it has tables, couches, stoves, ovens, overhead for the oven, bird baths, hedges, hammer, doorbell, packages, mailbox. Um, with the mailbox right now they actually it actually has a small bug and I cannot figure out how to delete it. I tried shift and that did not work. It just says you need to unlock it. Shift does not work for me. Neither does control which I have. I set my crouch and it is keep disappearing. So do not mess up when you're setting that down. I've tried to look all over the place for ways to delete these and it has not helped me at all. Um, but it's pretty fun to use. You can actually open it up and stick stuff in there that you want to save, I guess. Really, it's useless unless you have a people playing on a server with you, which would be awesome. There is a cooling pack in there also with flesh, cooked flesh. I'm not sure why that's in there. You'd either be a cannibal or you're eating flesh. We also have wooden tables, stone chairs, couches, blinds, which are like my favorite because they are legit blinds. They actually help a lot for you guys. We have curtains, white picket fence, a tap faucet. Man, I, I just love this mod. It really makes Minecraft realistic for everybody here. And it's just fun to use, I mean, in general. And just, like, the new mod, or the new update they added for horses is pretty awesome, you guys have to admit. The horses are awesome. That is all I have for you guys today uh, in this mod that I have. The Minecraft furniture mod that Mr. Crayfish so kindly made for us. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and rate. I'll be back for you guys in another week or so with a new video. Have fun modding on Minecraft.